guys, what's up? My name is Louisa. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna do a little introduction video so you can get to know me. You can get a better sense of who I am. So when you see these crazy videos that I post, you'll kind of feel a little connected to me. <laughs> We're gonna be interacting with lots of different people, some we know, some we don't. We're gonna explore a lot of places around Los Angeles. I'm in New York a lot, so we'll be there as well. So yeah, I'm excited to get started. I grew up in Baltimore. I was born in Pittsburgh. I always say I'm a New Yorker because I always went there as a kid. My, a lot of my family lives in New Jersey. I'm an actress, singer, and screenwriter, but there's a lot of opportunities here. It's cool to get to know both coasts because the industry is so prominent on both coasts, and yeah, really happy I came. My parents are my best friends. That sounds like kind of creepy, but I'm an only child, and they're really cool, so we, we're just so close. I just look up to them so much as parents, people, and as friends. And, and um, I have some amazing close friends in both New York and LA, which I'm really appreciative of. I'm very fortunate. My parents, since I was little, um, traveled a lot with me. My favorite, traveling is my favorite thing. I love meeting people from different countries and I love immersing myself in different cultures. My favorite, I loved going to Panama because I remember I spent a day with this tribe and just like saw them hunting for fish and we ate with them and saw their dances, it was just so fun. Um, but I'm Brazilian as well, I've been to Brazil many times, so I love going to Brazil, and not just to see my family, which is, I mean, I love doing that, but I love the country, it's so, every part is so different. I love Brazil. And South Africa, because I got groomed by baby baboons, I swear to God. So it's like, I logically know how irrational I mean, but I can't surpass that horrifying emotional overload of anxiety. Anyway, so I'm anxious. Um, I can be really hard on myself. Sometimes I feel overly sensitive to, to the point where I guess that they say that's great if you're an artist, but and it is to some extent, and I love being in touch with my emotions, but sometimes it makes me react in a way that I wouldn't want to, not in a crazy way. My biggest fear physically I can face. No, but that's I don't like wrist veins. It's not Ow. weird, like I don't like the look of them. But centipedes. I hate them. When I see them, when I think about them, I swear I'm not making this up. I get twitchy, I get chills, it's so humiliating. Anyway, so yeah, sun beads. And then time, because I, part of my, I know I always say this, I'm not trying to be deep. It's just I love control and the thought of time, everything that it entails, and how I can't control it and I can't really make sense of it. You know, it's always, I'm always losing it, it just makes, it blows my mind. So I was singing since I was little. I did a lot of musical theater, both regionally and at school. I took voice lessons and then dance lessons and then it all just started meshing with theater. And then I focused on acting for a little while still taking voice um, lessons with my coach in New York. And then I made a, a voice demo and that was sent to the producer I'm working with, Paul Drago, to um, in LA. It was sent to him and so now I'm recording new songs. So happy I'm finally recording again and hopefully getting to perform soon because I miss singing so much. I always felt like something was missing. Um, I love the Beatles. I love Sia. As far as performers, Beyonce. Hey Jude by the Beatles because I associate songs with memories and I remember I was in a very nostalgic mood. It's like, you know, <laughs> I was in a very nostalgic mood and I was walking through the park. I think I was about to leave New York or something and I then all of a sudden I just felt a sense of community because this band was playing outside all these different instruments. They were playing Hey Jude and singing and all the crowd, the crowd from all over walking, people on bikes, people on horse, horses and carriages, they just all stopped and started singing the song and felt a sense of community and it was beautiful. I'll always remember that moment. That's just a beautiful song. La Miel Rose, it's a French film. Maria Cotillard is my favorite actress. She plays Edith Piaf from throughout her whole life. I mean, obviously not as a child, but as a child or too bad. But yeah, she's amazing. I love the songs. I love the story. Everyone has to watch it. If you don't like subtitles, watch it anyway. I like performing live. I just love how people can like see how the song's affecting you and you can vibe off the audience. So yeah, I think performing live I like better, definitely. Even though recording can be fun, but sometimes you're not singing the song all the way through. Your but it's still a great experience. It's all part of the process. It inspires me when I get a song and then realizing how it can connect. Like everyone, it shows me, art shows me that everyone's going through the same thing. Even if it's not a specific event, it's just the same cycle of emotions and that inspires me to want to keep pursuing that journey into now, everyone should read it. And it teaches you how to be completely in the present, but still live in the world of time, obviously, or else you would just not know what to do with yourself, but I wish I could do that. 
I understood the book so well, but I still find myself now, always in my head and just really appreciating just like, drinking a cup of coffee and just letting it go down your throat and realizing what that feels like instead of being like, oh, I have to do today. Because I always know what I have to do. I have a list. I don't need to always think about it. Mm -hmm. Wish I could change that. Be able to communicate to every single living thing on earth, to speak every language if a person cannot speak, to be able to communicate with them, to animals, wild, any wildlife, even a centipede, that I can be like, go away. To make sure that everyone that I love and have ever loved lives their most fulfilled life the longest, happiest, and healthiest life. And then to be able to do what I want for the rest of my life as a career while also traveling the world and affecting as many people as possible and just seeing the world. Don't get discouraged by how many times people say, don't give up, you can do it, because you actually can in your own way and everyone has their own timeline. You can't compare yourself to anyone else. Everyone has their own uniqueness. Value yourself and you'll be fulfilled if you continue to do what you love. There is not one path at all. And just keep going because if you keep doing it, eventually you're going to find more and more fulfillment and it's going to happen at different times in ways that were unexpected. But if you're doing it, you're doing what you love. What's better than that? All right. So I hope you guys know a little bit about more about me. I mean, obviously you do, but I hope it entertains you somewhat. So I'm excited for the next video. It'll be, there's going to be no more videos of just me sitting here. It'll be a lot more fun with friends and special guests. So yeah, stay tuned. Hope to see you soon and subscribe if you like this. Bye.